Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, my name is Miss Sandra and welcome to Storytime. Today I will be reading Clock Old Clock by Kes Gray. And as, as always, remember to practice social distancing by staying six feet apart, wearing your face mask, and washing your hands. Very important that you all wash your hands. After I'm through with the story, would you, would you please go to the comment section and there let me know how many people watch the video. Let me know how many children, how many adults, and if you like the book or not. Also, the book is available to check out. So if you guys want to come to the library, just give us a call and we'll check the book out in your name, put it in a, put it in a bag and sit it on the table right outside our door. So I hope you all enjoyed the book today. Clock O'Clock by Kes Gray. It's four o'clock in the morning. Another day is dawning. Colin the rooster puffs out his chest, ready to do what he doodle doos best. It's 402. We open our eyes, fluff our wreck our feathers, and watch the sunrise. It's 415. We stretch out our wings, jump from our perch to see what the day brings. It's five o'clock. The farmer appears with toast in his hand and soap around his ears. It's 505. He unlocks the door, rattles his bucket, throws corn on the floor. We gobble our breakfast in 10 seconds flat. Jessie's the fastest, that's why she's so fat. Six until eight, we sit on our nest. We lay white eggs or brown eggs. March done by request. Just after eight, we leave the hen coop and stroll around the farmyard all in one group. From nine until 10, we go our own ways. The dust bath is Frida's, the hopscotch is Faye's. 11 o'clock, we meet by the plow, squabble and squawk about what to do now. If the tractor's been busy, we might hunt for worms. Big ones, little ones, anything that squirms. Twelve o'clock, we sit in the trees, ambush some caterpillars, lace wings and bees. Twelve twenty-five, we practice our clucks. Tell a few jokes and dive bomb the ducks. One o two, we walk down the lane. Jane is the blackbird who lives in the hedge. Jane is an expert on earwigs and slugs. One of the exercise. Two to see Jane. She has a family of four and a husband named Ray. She knows where to find the tastiest bugs. Two o'clock, we play hide and seek. Valerie should learn to tuck in her beak. Three o'clock, we lie on, on our back. We find shapes in the clouds and then we make tracks. Four o'clock. 
where back in the yard, Wiley and Kali is standing on guard. Call him a guard dog. He's totally useless, woofless, furless, and totally toothless. Four fifteen, we go to, to the stable to visit the horses Molly and Mabel. Four thirty till five, we perch in the rafters, watch them eat grain, and hope for some after. Six o'clock, it's our turn again. A fistful of scraps, a big full each hand. Seven o'clock. We form a long line and wait for the farmer to give us the sign. When he jangles the keys from inside his pocket, points to the hen house, and bangs on his bucket, we race to the coop in 58 gear. Faye and Marge bring up the rear. Last to the perch is a big rotten egg. Annie isn't playing. She's got a bad leg. The farmer locks up and goes in to eat. Pork chops and gravy will be tonight's feast. 7.30, we're ready for bed. No one is tired, so we chatter instead. Eight o'clock. The sun starts to fade. The hen house grows darker, light turns to shade. Nine o'clock, the farmer shows up with his hot milky coffee and his favorite blue cup. He rattles our door and checks all the locks. We sit on our perch and wait for the fox. The fox is named Olga. She lives in the woods. She eats chickens for supper. She eats us if she could. Brenda starts fidgeting at 20 to 10. Anytime now will be fox time again. At 10.57, we all hear a sound. Something is sniffing and snuffling around. Oh, is it the The noises are coming from the farmhouse back door. Trash bags are spilling out onto the floor. Tin cans are clackling. Pork bones are cracking. Sharp teeth are crunching. Olga is snacking. The farmer is sleeping. He doesn't hear. He doesn't hear her but we can hear sounds creeping nearer and nearer. Feet or inches is too dark to tell, but ogre is close, we can tell by the smell. Colin stays calm and jumps to the floor, just to the left of the crack in the door. Through the hole in the wood, he wiggles a feather, very kindly donated, by heaven. He wiggles it, he juggles it, and now you'll see why. When he takes it away, it's replaced by an eye. You think that's Fox? Let's see. It's greedy, it's big, it's beady, it's nasty, it's vulgar, it's scary, it's scary, it's scary, it's definitely Olga. Before Olga can blink, Colin soups up some dirt and gives her an eyeful right where it hurts. Olga runs off with a flea and each ear. That will teach her to come sniffling around here. It's 12 o'clock midnight. Everyone's joining. Time for some sleep, only four hours till morning. 
the end. I hope you enjoyed the book today. And don't forget to ask mom to go into the comment section and type there how many people watched the video and then break it down for me how many children, how, how many adults. Now we have a song. I have, I have my egg basket and we're going to do the shaky egg. It's an egg. It's an Easter, a plastic Easter egg and I put some beans in it and then I taped it up. So we can, we can make this noise. Have this noise. I about I get two. So we can lock it. All right, everybody ready? It goes like this. Oh, I know what you get. And she laid in there. And she laid in there. Yeah, I know what you get. And she laid in there. She laid in there. Oh my goodness. It's a shaky egg. It's a shaky egg. Now shake them fast. Shake them fast. Shake it faster. 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 Jump up and down and shake them. Jump, jump. Turn around. Jump. Shake them. Shake them faster. Faster and stop. Oh, I know a chicken. I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. And she laid an egg. Oh, I know a chicken. I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. And she laid an egg. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's a shaky egg. It's a shaky egg. Now, shake them in a circle. In a circle. come to the library and we'll have some packets on the table. If all the packets are gone, just ring our doorbell and we will bring more packets out. So inside the packet, you have the triangle, you have the body, two eyes, two googly eyes, two ears, and a nose. So the first thing we do, this is the front where it's colored, it's colored gray. So you're gonna lay that down, open your glue, roll it up just a little bit, and we're gonna put glue here on the back. 
enough glue so that when we put the body on, it stays. There we go. And then we turn it over. There it is. So we turn it over and press. Press is we want to make sure that there's enough glue and that it stays. So we look at it and you decide what, which, which part is going to be the top. This is going to be my top. So I'll take glue and put it on the back of one of the white eyes about right there and I'll take the other one and do the same a little glue and I'll put it there and so it looks like that that's how it looks okay all right there are my eyes so then I take glue and put it inside the eye and I put a goo googly eye like that and do the same for the other side. There it is. Okay. Now we take the ears and we put a little glue. This is the ear. We hold it like this with the point at the top triangle glue on the bottom and then we're going to put it on the back there's the back and that's what it looks like on the front and we do the same thing for the other side same thing and that's what it looks like from the front that's what it looks like from the back Again, the front. And now we have one piece left. So we're gonna put glue right there on the bottom. You can see my glue on the bottom. And that's where the nose goes. Was that great? That was awesome. We did that so quickly. And that's our fox thing. Our fox that tried to get into the hen house and get everybody. So again, if you would like to do this craft, just come up to the library. We'll have a table like this one out front of the library and you just pick up a packet and go. If all the packets are gone, just ring our doorbell. And myself or Mr. LeBron will come out and we will give you a packet. Thank you.